mind is all pervasive. You might have heard this thought, uh, this expression many, many times in some kind of vague reference. But I want to try and really impress upon you the allness of mind or this vast energy which surrounds all things which is in and passes through all things. Give you an illustration. The main difference between this paper and this spoon is a result of mind. This paper is made up of five types of energy. There are only five major types of energy on this world that we possibly know of, and there are five minor types as well. But the minor types are connected, directly connected to the five major types. These five major types of energy come from the sun. The minor types of energy may come from other sources, but we're most concerned with the major types. They are what the yogis call the pranas, P-R-A-N-A-S. The word prana means, of course, universal life force. You might say, well, how can it come from the sun and be universal? It comes, shall we say, through the sun, from a universal supply. The thing that made the sun made the pranas. Now, the pranas are not mind, but mind substance or mind energy molds the pranas. Difference again between this paper and that spoon is that the mind of this paper holds the pranas in a certain way and the mind of that spoon holds the pranas in another way.